Okay, we've made it to our sixth tutorial. Creating and removing columns. You're almost ready to build your first predictive model in RapidMiner. But first, we need to deal with two very important operations for transforming your data sets into a format more suitable for training your model. The beginning of this process is the same as the previous one. This is a great opportunity for you to implement what you have already learned so far. We will then create a new data column, i.e. generate an attribute, and remove some of the unused, unnecessary columns from the data. Let's begin. Drag the transaction and products datasets into the process. Transaction and products. Then add a join operator. Then connect to all of the operators. Now we're going to specify our parameters. As you can remember, we were using the product ID. If you can't remember, just analyze the data sets and you'll see that they both contain product ID and that they can be joined on it. As we used in the previous tutorial, we're going to use the inner join. Next, add the generate attribute operator. We have it right here. Then connect it. Click edit. And we're going to be calculating the total that we earned from the product. The functional expression is going to be amount times the price. And we get an info expression is correct and the syntax is correct. Now, as you can see, we can have trigonometry, we can have a lot of things, so it is useful to know how to use this builder. We're going to click apply, and we're done. Next, we're going to add the select attributes operator, and we're going to connect it to the rest of the process. We're going to set the attributes filter type to the subset, which means that we'll be picking part of our set, i.e. a subset, and presenting it as the whole set itself. Click on select attributes, and in this section, we are asked to select customer ID, product name, and total. Customer ID, product name, total. And we're going to run the process. Oh, we need our connection. We run the process and we get the data. Let's see if there are any questions. You are becoming a master of data blending. You have seen now some of the most important operat operators for data preprocessing. Join, aggregate, filter, sort, generate attributes, select attributes. But RapidMiner has a lot more operators. Those six will be used most frequently. From the results view, can you find out the customer ID of the customer who paid most for a single product. How much did he pay? Remember that you can only sort data by clicking on a column header. Well, that's easy. If we sort by totals, we can see that Hypnosil was very expensive, almost 2.5 thousand euros. And yeah, we know that the customer ID is 130. Can you answer the same question by using an operator instead? Hmm, can we use some kind of an operator to answer this question? Well, we can use the sort. And with the sort, if we include it in this process, we're going to say sort our total decreasing. Now we have the same result. How would you describe the form of the distribution chart for the new total attribute. You can find this in the statistics tab. We go ahead and go to the statistics, then total. Hmm. And we can see the graph and the distribution. How would we describe it? Now for this step, I'm going to delete the sort because it doesn't affect our distribution. I don't want this confusing you. So if we go into our results, we can see the statistics of our total shows this distribution. If we open the visualization, we can see that either it is almost exponential in this way or geometric. Either way, it shows a downward trend when it comes to more expensive products. So more expensive products are going to be sold less times than the least expensive products. Can you change the process? 
uh, so that it also calculates a new attribute squared, which is the squared amount for each transaction. What else do you need to change so that you can see this new column after the process execution? Squared amount. Hmm, let's see. If we generate attributes and we add a new entry, and we say squared amount, then we pick our attribute, which is the amount times the amount itself. Apply, and then select the attribute. We need to select another attribute, which is our new squared amount. Apply that also. Run, and then we can see the squared amount of our product sales. Why would we use squared? I'm not sure, but it's just a way to illustrate that you can use uh, the design tab and the operators to do all sorts of things on your data set. That's been it for the sixth tutorial. Let's save it and move on.